Thank you all so much, the judges and Christy. I've got one quick add-on, is we're not at 42 Nobel laureates anymore, we're actually at 78. <laughs> <laughs> I'm incredibly honored to be here receiving this award with so many people who've made such an impact at courageously exercising their freedom of speech. When I first began the effort to repeal the Louisiana Science Education Act, I didn't think it was going to be a freedom of speech battle. I knew the law was crazy and irresponsible, but I assumed our elected leaders would have the courage to stand up with me. I couldn't grasp how much control the religious right had. Pretty soon, I learned what everyone else being honored here today probably knows, that even in America, there's a cost to the so-called freedom of speech. When I testified before our state senators, I had senators belittling me and the other high school students who came to testify with me. They ridiculed the Nobel laureates with uh, little letters behind their names and who had endorsed our cause. I've been called the Antichrist and compared to Lenin. I've had organizations pray for me to fail I've even been blamed for Hurricane Katrina, although I'm not entirely sure of the logistics on that one, because that was seven years ago now. Um, so it's, it's strange and nerve-wracking to be the target of abuse for speaking out on such an important issue. I'm still not going to stop. I've had incredible mentors who showed me the way and stood by me in this effort who I want to thank. Barbara Forrest and Eugenie Scott from the NCSE, uh, Louisiana State Senator Karen Carter-Peterson, who has sponsored our repeal bill, and Sir Harry Croto and the others who helped me gather him and the other 78 Nobel laureate scientists who've endorsed our effort and who've put their reputations on the line to help a high school student. So, even so, it's been a lonely fight in Louisiana. When the creationism law passed back in 2008, only three out of 144 Louisiana legislators opposed it. Our governor, Bobby Jindal, a biology major at Brown University, betrayed his education and the education of Louisiana students by embracing, signing, and then defending this law. Call me crazy, but our students must learn good science. My generation is going to be the one to cure AIDS and cancer. We're going to invent the next iPhones, fly us to Mars, invite, uh, invent the next alternative energy source. But if our schools don't teach our kids good science, then it won't be Americans who discover these things. When I asked one of my close friends, a Chinese student, if she learned evolution, she was shocked that places like Louisiana allowed the teaching of creationism. In fact, she had learned more advanced math and science in high school than many of my friends in the hard sciences at Rice University, a top 20 school. We have one thing that China doesn't have, though. We can speak out and change things if we have the courage. And speaking out for sound science is something my generation must do despite the costs. Just like the LGBT community, Especially the, young, especially the younger generations have done in the last 40 years fighting for their civil rights, my generation needs to speak up and act out so we aren't still fighting the Scopes trial 100 years from now. We need people to stand with us, though. Politicians, business leaders, scientists, celebrities. We need to call out Mitt Romney for making a cowardly creationist like my governor, Bobby Jindal, his education guru, and putting him on his VP shortlist. We need politicians to... Or we need to call out politicians like Michelle Bachman, who... Uh, said that Nobel laureate scientists support creationism when there are none. And, by the way, the count with Michelle Bachman is still 78 to 0. Um, <laughs> we need to tell the national media to stop sitting on the sidelines and ignoring creationism laws because they're not just a Louisiana problem. You can't just sit comfy in New York and ignore all of this. They are not an American problem. 46% of Americans, according to the latest Gallup poll, believe in young earth creationism. New Hampshire tried to pass its own creationism law and continually does that. Tennessee passed its own creationism law this spring. Um, North Carolina is discussing outlawing climate change science. Like, science denial is not just a Louisiana problem, it's an American problem. And Y'all know here at the Hefner Foundation that free speech is not without its costs. And you know that speaking out creates change. That's why I'm so proud to accept this honor. Thank you all so much, and I'm incredibly honored to be here.